sio imani kwamba miracles zinatendeka struggle ambao watu wanapitia sio kwamba haujui it can happen haujui unaweza kuporewa unaweza ponywa unaweza 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 kukoborewa but the problem that you are struggling with now is the point of release when we when will this be released na sasa katika jina la Yesu tunaenda kushiriki neno kuhusu the point of miracle do you want to know this the secret amen na kwambia kama kuna experience zuri ni experience ambapo now wewe ni mushuhuda kwamba kuna nguvu ziliachiliwa kuna kitu cha kipekee kilifanyika ambacho is only god who can do when how amen and, and friends by the grace of god Somebody said revive us somebody said revive us once more that we may rejoice in you hallelujah one of the point of miracle release ni wakati ambapo umesukuma umesukuma wewe kwa sababu unaamini kabisa Jesus is healing Jesus is doing it now wewe mwenyewe unachukua initiative you got some base initiative and you push unasukuma unasukuma imani yako unasukuma hali yako mpaka mpaka sasa because of your faith because of your faith you cause the release let me put ukiangalia biblia vizuri sijui kama mnajua There are miracles in the Bible that happened. Na ilipofanyika Jesus would ascribe the miracle to the faith of the recipient. Jesus agasema hivi, imani yako imekuponya. Haya. Mwenye ameponya ni Yesu. Mwenye ameachilia healing ni Yesu. Lakini kile kimesababisha ni imani ya mwenye kuponywa. Now, na Yesu baada ya kusema nimekuponya. Jesus used to say your faith has made you well. Let's see some example. Ukiangalia katika Biblia utaona let's see the book of Mark kwa maana ni kitabu cha matendo ya Kristo. Kama kuna kitabu kimegeitwa the acts of jesus christ ni kitabu cha maliko mark ukienda chapter 2 look at the way chapter 2 ya biblia inasema ya mark akaingia kapa now tena baada ya siku kadha wa kadha ikasikiwa ya kwamba yumo nyumbani and, and the bible says wakasukusanyika watu wengi isibaki nafasi hata mlangoni akawa akisema nao neno lake the bible says and straight away many people were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them not not so much as about the door and he preached the word of god to them if you go to verse 3 asema wakaja watu wakimletea mtu mwenye kupooza anachukuliwa na watu wane na walipokuwa hawawezi kumkaribia kwa sababu ya makutano walitomboa dali pale alipokuwa wakisha kuivunja wakaliteremsha godoro aliyolalia yule mwenye kupooza and I Yesu you know I like I like the way naye Yesu If you read verse 5 and when Jesus saw their faith so, can you say after me when Jesus saw their faith now i would like now us to start a journey and tunaenda kusema 
I want my faith to be seen. Nataka imani yangu sasa ionekane na huyu mwokozi. Kwa sababu sasa Bible inasema haya. <laughs> si Yesu alitoka nje kufanya huyu jamaa. Ni huyu jamaa aliyobebwa na watu wane alitafuta jia na ilipokosekana wakatoboa the Bible says waliharibu dali it was a kind of roof iliyokuwa Israel wakaharibu mahali alikuwa amesimama Kristo alipotazama mwenye kupooza the paralytic has been brought down on a mattress by four people Christ responded to that faith and when Jesus saw their faith he spoke I believe with all my heart kuna uwezekano I said to you by the word of God kuna uwezekano imani ya mtu itokee hata wewe Kristo aseme even now hallelujah and when Jesus saw their faith he spoke Now I have a question how do we produce your faith now? Kwa maana kuna imani lazima izaliwe leo na ionekane. Isalimieni. Hallelujah. Do you know kuna mambo inahitaji we mwenyewe uketi. You know I, 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 I told you there was a, a, a young boy alinitolea report form zake form 2, form 3, form 4 first term zilikuwa D minus D minus D, D minus, D, E, D minus. Ata first term. Ya form 4 alikuwa na D. And that young man, alinigaoje hapa mpaka saa kama hizi. Kambia, gentleman, what do you want? Aka, bishop, si odoki leo. I'm li not living. Aka niyokea kwa mesa, kambia, brother, Jesus want to move, but do you have faith? Nikamwambia nataka kunena kitu but do you have faith bishop nimegojea hivi nikijua god is introducing another level kambia una imani yes kambia now i want to speak your grade kambia skiza form 2 likuwa na d minus na d na form 3 d d d na sasa first term form 4 uko na d nikamwambia niangalie Kama Jehovah I ship you. Mutuha, mutihani wa KSC. Wewe. Kenya National Certificate. Whatever. Utapata a strong B plus. Kweda ju ukirekea hii. And the boy said. Bishop I believe it. Nikawabia, Do you believe it? Yes. From this moment. Tembea na iyo akiri. Tembea na iyo akiri. Na katika akiri yako. Hata ikuwezekana. Hizi. Hizi result. Uweke pahali. Usisione. Uzi Nataka hizi uwede. Usitupe pahali ya mpapo. From now. Mpaka result. Za form 4 zitoke. Hauta ziona. And the another appear anywhere. Tupa uko. Utaziona baadai diyo. Wapia watu where God raised you from. And the boy came out here with faith, faith and different might. Now, I need to find a turn of form for and you have your bishop. Can you see what God, God has done? Well, come here. What has happened? I need a minus. I may back on a point B. I a plane. Do you know what has worked? How I will ever sure. I get a worker. The mogul to I get more level. What is miracle? Miracle kuna wakati na tedeka kwa maana umetokea. Na umesema this what now I believe in. Na mungu na tokea sema yes. What do you believe in? That one yes. Your faith has made you well. End na upate. Amen. Now there are times kwa biblia like now how jamaa. Bible nasema na Yesu alipo ona imani yao akamunenea this is an issue of not Jesus visiting you not Jesus preaching to you 
ni wewe kumtabua Yesu na kuunda imani aina fulani na kuweka kuweka kiwango fulani kwa imani Yesu akione. Are you understanding? Right now I would like you to raise a standard. Nataka leo tushike standard. Tuseme God hata kama nimekuwa nikipata siringi bili nimeweka chini hiyo aibu. Nataka kwa imani to create a standard by faith na nije naye kwako nikwambie this is what I believe and I tell you tonight and believe God the God we serve Jesus hajabadrika kama hauna shaka the same Christ you say your faith has made you well how many wagataka their faith to make them well uh, there's a chance tonight by the blood of Jesus Christ I said there's a chance tonight by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I feel the Holy Spirit, before I preach further, the Holy Spirit, kuna watu right now, I don't know what is happening, kuna watu right now in this place, kuna kitu umesimamisha bereza mungu hivi, na mungu ameaza ukiona. I would like to pray for somebody, about katika kampane yako, katika familia yako, katika watoto about meza, kuna kiwango umesimamisha hivi, na unaenda nacho bereza buwana. Katika maisha yako kuna uponyaji unaamini Mungu na unaenda naye bila za Bwana. This is a different thing. Si Yesu anakutembelea. Si Yesu anakuhubiria. Nani? Alafu kwa sababu umemtabua ni nani, unaunda kwa kwa imani a standard and you go with it before God. And God what God say and when God show your faith Anasema, yes, your faith has made you well. Can I believe God with you? Now, hear this. Staki muntu ambaye anaunda uda kitu. Nataka muntu ambaye unasikia in the spirit of God. Kuna stanadi yako ambao roho wabwana anainuwa hivi. Na unaishika. And I would like to make a prayer with you before I preach on. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kuna roho imekuvuja moyo. There is a spirit very painful that is putting you down. Nemekuvuja moyo sana. Uja mali kona D minus. Do you know nipo kori kimuambea? Haku kwa na chance ya kukupuka D minus. Haku ruhusu D minus imuite jina. Na haku ruhusu imbrute chini. Adichagua standard tukaamini tukaiweka hivi and god saw his faith and i believe alipopata hiyo a hiyo resource and god will say your faith has made you well my god i pray that this voice will be real in this church right now my god i want to trust you i want to release this anointing in this congregation that somebody aweza kutokea beleza buwana. Imani yake yonekane kiwango chake. Na Yesu aseme, your faith has made you well. Oh my God, tapo sita na maya. Maika ya rapo sota ni masika. Makato posoka ni na amakata. I be because of Tori Bazaya. I destroy that fear. I destroy hiyo kiwango umewe kwa chawoga. I na kaposaka. Hiyo roho imejenga kituo kazini mwako. Na yukumu kwa wezo wa roho wa bwana na damu yesu kristo. Nani huwa nsikia kumwendea yesu reo. Na imani furani ambao siya kawaida. Simama na migui yako. Na kama uja amua sisimame. Kama uja amua. Ubaki umeketi and you pray. The Lord has spoken to me. One point of miracle release. Ni wakati wewe mwenyewe unatoka mahali uko. Na unamwendea buwana na kiwango furani cha imani. And God anaona yu imani. Anakuabia pokea. Kwa maana yu imani yako imekuponya. There are miracles I want to release from this altar. Na mtu yote ambaye hakuna kitu meamua Please usunye mkono Isiwe unachezea mungu Ina mkono 
can you raise your heart na dile jabo abaro unataka kusimama naro beza bwana kiwango cha mapato kiwango cha uponyanji kiwango cha kutukufu kiwango cha urithi unasema bwana nimekuja kwako nikikuaminia hii nikikuaminia hii muujiza hutendeka kwa maana kuna mtu amemwendea bwana na umemwaminia japo na una shaka kataposa kenema na kiataposanda na yesu akitazama anaona kwamba hauna msaa you are serious about it Jesus I bless you. Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dada huyu, haleluya, dugu huyu, mzee huyu, kijana msichana huyu ameinua imani, imani, kiwango, kiwango chako na kajua you can perform and you are willing. And now Jesus see their faith and release upon them according to their faith kama ulivyo mnenea ule paralytic ukasema chukua godoro uende nyumbani kama vile ulimwambia mwenye kutokwa na damu imani yako imekuponya i now declare by your mouth imani ya hao watu walio katika ikanisa imewaponya your faith has made you whole receive your miracle receive your healing aliyemgojwa pona hallelujah chochoto mmeania bwana receive it na bwana anasema your faith has made you whole your faith has made you whole I say your faith has made you whole. Your faith has made you whole. Hey, hey, hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Pigia u Yesu makofi. Amen. To Katie Sasa. The Lord bless you so much. The Lord keep you. Imani ambao unaamua na moyo. Your miracle unaiamua and you push your heart before God. But Mayo alifanya hivyo. Akaambua nyamaza, pana. Have you ever known but Mayo alipofika mbinguni mwa Yesu aliozuaje? What do you want? Kwa maana ni imani yake namponya. Yeye ndiye atasema, kila atasema kulingana na imani. Akasema, Labon, my teacher, nipate kuona. Akaambua, ni hiyo ipata kuona. Your faith has made you well. Kama vile but Mayo umengangana hivyo imani yako ilikuwa ya kuona ni hiyo e, pokea your faith has made you well my god i give you praise unajua kuna watu uomba lakini hana kiwango cha imani hana kiwango cha imani sasa wewe unaomba Mungu naomba tu Mungu akutendee baba naomba tu nitendee naomba tu nitendee but i want to tell you the truth one of the point of miracle in rich is your presentation na wa na una, kwa imani sikiza kwa imani katika Yesu unayejua kwa imani katika Yesu unayejua ushindi wake ume create a level of miracle faith until Jesus say your faith has made you well can you hear this friends nataka uandike date ya leo na uandike kile umeamini na akili yako isinga Okay, okay, jua, I know it's done. For I believe it. God will prove his word from today. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Kirkigine kinafanya kutoke point of miracle reach. There's what we call point of contact. Point of contact. Ukiagalia vizuri katika biblia mara nyingi kuna miujiza imefanyika through point of contact for instance do you realize kwamba ah uh, i don't know kama itamtaelewa haya petero baanda ya peter kuitwa na bwana amhudumie 
katika kitabu cha matendo ya mitume in just name hallelujah let's go there very quickly let's go there very quickly before we read other, other places now in the book of acts of apostles and i hope ukon bibi yako iko na acts of apostles let's see now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fugua kitabu cha matendo ya mitume 5 15. The Bible says and so that they brought the sick out into the streets and laid them on beds and couches that at least the shadow of Peter passing by might fall on some of them. Hallelujah. Now, I hope umepata your scripture. Tumesoma Matendo mitume tano aya ya kumi na tano. Have you I, did you have you seen that? Let me read it in Kiswahili. Sorry, Kiswahili now. That is at mm -hmm. Inasema hivi Hata ikawa katika jia kuu hutoa nje wagonjwa na kuwaweka juu ya majavwi na magodoro ili petro akija gawa kivuli chake kimwangukie moja wapo wao nayo makutano na watu wa miji iliyoko kadokada Yerusalem wakakutanika wakileta wagonjwa nao waliouthiwa na mapepo wachafu na wote wakaponywa haleluya now i don't know kama mnajua petero alitumwa na yesu na watu wanaanza kuweka wagonjwa kwa highway now hawasemi ndio pita aja waobe no wanasema hivi ili pita atakapokuwa akipita angalau kivuri cha pita kiwaguze it is said pita aligudua akipita kwa street haleluya kama jua liko upande huu na kivuri chake kiko upande ile akipita hivi akifikiri watu wanakaa katika barabara wakikojea labda safari fulani Agapita the shadow inaguza watu wakiinuka 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 pita gagudua what is happening now my shadow is raising the dead my shadow is casting out demons my shadow is healing fever my shadow inaponya vipovu akajua yes these people through the shadow wamekuwa na point of contact with the anointing in my heart hallelujah point of kuna ndugu mmoja aliponywa na i remember sijui wili huwa anakaaga nje wili umemwona wili wili ako wapi wapi jinsi wili wili kuna wakati mmoja alinistua You know he's a nasha na kabla yeye huwa anakaa hapa. Na mimi sina shughuli. Sina shughuli hata kidogo. Mimi na Bubu tu nimekalia kakiti. Na akatoa testimony ya contact and I remember you see now this man this Peter Peter na tebea true but some people are creating point of contact. Wakasema he shadow ikiguza mtu walikuwa wanapona. He shadow could heal the sick kuna point of miracle about tokana na a point of contact with the power of god hallelujah 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 i remember kuna an evangelist a very powerful evangelist in england alitembea nyumba akienda mission 
akawekwa kwa guest room hiyo nyumba na akarara asubuhi na akaondoka akiondoka anapoingia gari mama akamwambia excuse me man of god don't you know my husband hajaokoka na hata haamini Mungu man of god what do i do evangelist akaona sasa nitarudi kweli akamwambia please do this siku na juma nimelala pale zile bed sheet nimelalia the point of contact chukua mtadikia kija anakuja nini leo asubuhi yes go to your bedroom transfer all the bed sheet abaso nimetumia tadika kwa kwa tada yake akamwambia why the it's a point of contact for your husband's salvation mama liti mzee amekuja asubuhi amekuwa overnight kwa kazi mama anamwambia please jiwekelee unajua sasa mama anataka ku test jiwekelee kidogo muziki jiwekelee ha kama hali ya wewe huruka within 5 minutes mama risikia mzee anapiga duru i want to get saved point of contact bila hata kuabiwa the man was, was on knees how nimeona tu nikasikia kuokoka tu akaba wewe huko unaamini Mungu wachana hiyo mama nasikia kuokoka there are miracles humbika through point of contact kuna ule mwanamke aliyekuwa katika mark chapter 2 Ukienda okay, Mark chapter 2 Mark chapter 2 Mark chapter 2 Utaona uh, no chapter 5 Utaona huyu mama huyu mama Aha That is chapter 5 Bible inasema katika kuanzia aya ya 25 Bible inasema kitu hapa na mwanamke mmoja mwenye kutoka damu muda wa miaka kumi na miwili na kuteswa na akazidi kuwa mbaya ukienda verse 27 inasema aliposikia habari za Yesu alipita katika mkutano kwa nyuma akaliguza vasi lake akaliguza si Yesu alimwambia aguze si Yesu alimwambia huyu ah, diari kuja unajua sasa nyinyi wanaume leo na waka, mnanuka nyama wote kama eh nimepitia nikakuta griga shanuka nyama baba franco nyama wewe wanuka nyama huyu <laughs> diari toa testimony ya point of contact ataliguza kiti yangu nimekalia pale badala kugojea otako akaguza kiti guvu ikatoka kamponya can you remind them what you see because mambo mengine sasa atakiwa mtu aseme mhm mm bwana amen e bwana asifiwe mimi naitwa Gadogo na kuna wakati mrefu sana nilikuwa najisikia nilikuwa mgonjwa na nilikuwa mgonjwa ugonjwa ambao hata mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nashindwa ni nini mbaya mimi ni mgonjwa wapi nani hata nikiambia mke wangu lakini namuuliza nikienda sasa kwa daktari ndamwambia ni wapi mimi ni mgonjwa lakini nilikuwa nasikia mwili wake nasikia mimi ni mnyonge nasikia kweli hata katika moyo wangu nilikuwa na nenewa nasikia sasa hapa ni kama ninaweza enda na nakumbuka siku moja mimi nimezoea kuketi pale nje na nilikuwa na keti pale nje kuna mama mmoja alikuwa mama mama nani mama wanjiro huyu anatembea anabebago na, na wheelchair kuna siku moja alikuwa anakujaga na leto na wheelchair alafu tunamtafutia mahali pale tunaweka yeye hapo na wheelchair ndio ndio aweze kusikia nakumbuka siku hiyo alipokuja 
Nilikimbia haraka sana kuondoa kiti yangu ili akuje pale kwa wheelchair kwa sababu hapa nyuma ya bishop kulikuwa na kiti ambayo ilikuwa imewekwa pande ile. Hapo sasa mgongo ya, ya hiyo kiti na huko nje ya mabati zimeguzana na, na ya bishop. Na mimi mwenyewe kwa hivyo unajua vile tunakuaga yani bishop tukiitwa hapa otakol sisi viongozi ama wale ambao tumekaa hapa kanisani tunasikiaga kuaibika kukuja mahala hapa. Na nilikuwa nasikia kweli mimi ni mgonjwa lakini naaibika kukuja mahali ya kukuja mahali hapa kwa sababu naona na nitakuja niombewe alafu nikose labda kupona watu wataanza kuniuliza maswali mingi. Lakini siku hiyo nilikuwa na imani kubwa sana na nikajua kwamba bishop vile ananena sio lazima aniwekelee mikono. Lakini najua mahali hapo kwa sababu mkongo wake mahali ambapo ameweka kiti changu nitaenda nikielekeze nyuma ya kiti chake. Kwa hivyo anapokuwa ameketi mahala pale mgongo wangu utakuwa umegawanyishwa na mabati. Nitakuwa tumeguzana na bishop kwa mgongo. Na nikajua kwamba leo nitapokea uponyaji kupitia hiyo contact ambao bishop amekuwa amekitulenea. Na wacha niwaambie kwa hakika. Mimi wakati niliketi mahala pale bishop hata kabla hajazungumza hata kabla hajatoka mahala pale nilisikia mwili wangu nikaanza kutokwa na jasho nikasikia kijoto kimo yani kivyo vitu vingine nikasikia mwili wangu wote unakuna jambo linatendeka na wacha niwaambia kwa hakika nilipotoka pa mahala pale bishop wakati alipokuja kusimama mahala hapa na siku hiyo aliombea watu kwamba akasemea akasema watu wakuja ambao ni wagonjwa na mimi nikasema mimi tiari nimepokea uponyaji kwa hivyo mahala pale mimi nitashukuru nikiwa pale kwa sababu tiari nimetendewa na kwa hakika my brother my sister hapo na hapo nikapata instant healing bila hata kuja mahala hapa ni kwa sababu ya kuwa na ile kuguzana na na wa bishop na kutoka hapo nikawa nikaponywa na nikaponywa kabisa bwana akubariki amen thank you thank you thank you God bless you. Pia Yesu makofi. Point of miracle through, through point of contact. Hiyo naitaji mtu awe I can't explain. I cannot explain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are even people. Listen carefully. How does point of contact occur? Lazima badrike. Kiakiri. Kiakiri. Because who you do go what na salimiana? Kabisa ta tuna hudumia magari huko tuna nini? But now hakukuwa na hi hakukuwa na hi ceiling. Giti yake ligusa mabati na ikaguza mabati. Na kamini guvu itatoka imuingie. Why? Aliamini point of contact. Now let me prove it. Ukiangalia huyu mama katika Mark chapter 5 na hapo ndio wapendwa nataka tufikirie. Huyu mama alipitia nyuma. Na uamuzi wa point of contact ni wewe naunda. It's not God. God will not tell you tell you touch me here. Mahali point of contact faith and decision for point of contact is made by you. Because the man, mom, the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. The Bible says, Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says, He said, Now look at the higher. Uh -huh. Verse 28. For she said, If I may touch his cross, I shall be made whole. Can I tell something friends? Si mara ya kwanza huyu mama kuguza guo za Yesu. Najua liguza siku ingine. Na ingine na ingine. But this time he is touching the cross of Jesus with faith for healing through point of contact. Aka sema today if I only touch his garment I'll be whole. You make a decision. You make a decision. I say you make a decision. 
That's why Tumesoma Acts chapter 5 verse 15 People in Jerusalem created point of contact Wakasema hata kama Peter ako very busy na hatuwezi mpata Tunaweka watu kwa barabara na opitia Kama Amen Kivuri chake the shadow ikiwaguza they shall be whole. That decision created point of contact. In Asamekana, Peter Age Peter Jerusalem. His shadow will raise the dead. His shadow will cast out demons. Now, this is why we are saying one of the problems to Kunai in the church ni watu kuzoea kuzoea Yesu. For instance, if you check Wakati Yesu aliongea, alisema hivi. Wakati mama alikuza Yesu, bebe sama, mala, chemi, chemi, ya damu yake, ikakauka. Mala. Naya akafahamu mwini mwake, kwamba, amepona musiba ule. And straight away, the fountain of her, of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Immediately. Immediately, Jesus noticed power has come out. Jesus, I give you praise. Jesus, I give you praise. Agaria, mara moja, mama kajua amepona, and he dried. She dried up. Pade ingine, mara moja, Yesu kajua guwe mtoka. Na Yesu sasa, do you know the issue? Yesu hakuwa na shukri na. It is the faith of woman that created point of contact. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Mara Yesu akafahamu nafsini mwake kwa mbaguzi memtoka akageuka kati ya mkutano akasema ni nani alie niguza mavazi yangu. Wanafuzi waka kwa mambia. Je, look at this issue. It is the first time it's the first time somebody is creating point of contact for healing. And disciples of Kagudua, to Mezoya Kumuguza, Kube to Kimuguza Koimani, and as Achiri Yanguvu, they discovered another way of miracle. Peter, Wakasaba Ibi, Wewe Yesu Naona, Makutano Wana Kusonga Songa, Naya Wasema, Nini Adien, Nani Adien Niguza, Yesu Akasema, Yesu Akatazama Padezote, Iri Amwone. Yule alie tenda neno hilo. Why? Kwa maana alijua. Guvu wa bazo zime nitoka. Zime sababisha kitu. But wanafuza sema. Jesus. People are thronging. Towards you. Touching you all over. Wana kusoka soga. Why ask a question. About ineza kuwa. Najibu gumu. Because there are so many. Yosama don't, don't confuse me. There's somebody who has touched me with a faith for point of contact ya healing. Akasema ata kama unasema hivo. Mimi naongea kuhusu mutu ameniguza nguvu zikalitoka. Mama katoka nyuma kama bia it's me. Yeso kama bia mama go away. Your faith has made you well. Na musiba uo Usiji okarudi tena kwa mwili wako. Pigie ni Yesu makofi. Jesus, unaweza fika level ya miracle by the release of gift. Kuna wakati wapendwa karama za roho mutakatifu kanisani na kwa dada kama wewe na duu kama wewe una ruhusu zitoke because one of the issue hakuna mtu amejazwa holy spirit abai hana karama abao imelaliwa na mambo if you can only release kwa maana baba sema hivi kila mtu hupewa manifestation ya kufaidi kanisa lote I say everybody here, kuna kitu kineza tedeka through you, watu watu wafaidike. Katika 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. Na, ebu tuangalie vizuri. 
you see, let's go to Second Kings. Uh, I want to say a script and then to Marizia. Uh, I hope uh, Sazi mentioned a bit, but God is right here to do something. Amen. Say many amen. Munayadawa mungu vizuri. Hallelujah. Now, now, there's something in this place. Now, hmm, and uh, Second Kings chapter 3. Second Kings chapter 3. I hope you are there. Verse 10. Hii ni vita. Irikweko. Na kukawa kwamba there is no water. Na kama hakuna manji, jeshi likona kiu. Farasi wakona kiu. There is total dryness. Na ikawa kwamba, although wakona nguvu, they cannot fight without water. Na mfame wa Israel, alipo ona haya, akasema, nataka muone grubiri. Who you wa Israel alisema nje ole wetu kwani Bwana amewakutanisha hawa wafalme watatu awauwe mkononi mwa Moabu That's the king of Israel Let's see a godly king and I pray you be godly Be godly When you are godly open a space of revelation When you are not godly wewe huona mambo vile yalivyo yakisema uishe yakisema utaagamia yakisema huna akili you conclude things the way you see them and i would like you to be delivered from issues hallelujah jesus i give you praise naomba bwana roho ya ufunuo spirit of revelation tumeenda vieta jameni tukapata ndugu wetu amekaa Vieta masa kumi. Doctors are saying they are hopeless. Kuna woga unafanya wewe ukubali kire kinasemwa na kire kinaonekana. Na hiyo diyo likuwa tabia ya the king of Israel. The king of Israel alipona vile kumekaa alifanya conclusion inaofanana na vile kuna kaa akasema ole wetu kwa maana bwana amen he has called these three kings together to deliver deliver them into the head of moab he is making conclusion about it is drawn from circumstances Making conclusion that is drawn from circumstances. Hallelujah. 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 Where's a kuni ambia mimi bishop ni kuna miaka 43. 43. Kama ni tatumia ujuaji wa dunia. We can say, umechelewa, kukolewa, na utaza. But we need to create another thing. Less, we, to watch his story, nyingi mkonazo. Ni vizu kwa bia, God, what is the plan for this woman? In a itwa dimension of revelation. Nisali mieni, nisali, panya hivi. I want to charge you now. Amen. Uko na mtoto ewa. Na amekusubua, you have given up. Don't give up. Don't make conclusion from circumstances. I say, uda, uda, nafasi ya ufunuo. Hola mashakaba. When you create a space for revelation, you are creating a space for miracle. Amen. Na yaza kuwa sijui. Ata mika mamutu sijui. But, I've just made a decision. Niriwambia one day kwa ofisi yangu. Muschana moja iyo stories ya ikusahau. Alikuja so desperate. So poor. Na asa bishop mama yangu alikufa. Baba yangu ni mugojwa karibu kufa. Mimi diyo firstborn bishop. 
ukimwangalia ah 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 nikakataa kujenga uamuzi na kile ananiambia kwa ofisi ninua mkoza god speak to me show me your glory sauti kaniambia tell that tiny girl ataka ngambo nikambia do something the lord says maisha yako ya jao utaka inchi za europe and you shall be great kusema hivyo kuangalia ofisi yangu juu i saw a vision ya nyumba kubwa bwana kaniambia my servant this shall be the sign one day utakura lunch kwa hiyo nyumba nimekuonyesha that is the house she will own in the future akiwa ngambo and you shall take lunch there Tuli, and the girl joined our church tulika miaka 10 hata mimi nikakata toka na nyonya about 20 years later 20 years later can i be a bishop would you mind to take lunch in my house kubokeni akiwa teenager nilionyeshwa nyumba na nikaabwa this shall be the proof one day you take lunch in her house do you know nipoenda nikaketi it was on a monday and maono ile karudi kabia my servant do you remember this date in your office yes lord sasa hiyo nimewekewa lunch hapa kulikuwa na tumiji na kashabashi karo haya bwana asifiwe and then say do you remember kuna nyumba nilikuonyesha huyu akua tine ja very poor yes and god akaniambia utaka potoka nje check this house is the one i showed you when she was a teenager bwana akaniambia do you remember nilikwambia idio ishara ya baraka kwa huyu one day utakula lunch kwake yes lord i've remembered unajua ni stuka nikaenda kukula nikamwambia sister do you remember yeye alilia paka nikaogopa alilia akalia na mimi nikaona si vizuri nikosa kukula kwa maana nilionjo nikakula nimaliza hii lunch sababu maono yangu ilikuwa nitakula lunch ika lunch ikaandika nine Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa nini muujiza utakaye? Kwa maana kwa ofisi niliunda a dimension of revelation. Mumesegenya watu. Mumeinukia nyumba za watu. I command you now. Haleluya. Any time unaniona Unaona mtu kanisani, unaona mume wako hata mtoto mke wako. Create a dimension of liberation. Miracle zitaubika nafasi ya ufunuo ikiumbika. And I pray today yale mambo ulikuwa me conclude na ukajiita jina vuta hiyo upande. I command you now humashaka tababa create a space for god to speak i wish ukeuta okay, nafasi mama moja alikuwa chairi i'm finishing now and the husband was so brutal brutal wale wazee wabaya na mama alikuwa amezoea kulialia kila jioni because she was in great pain mzee agemteza sana mpaka neighbors wakiabiwa mama fulani analia anaumia anaungua she's grieving she's in pain wakasema muache tu huyu huu mizo na mzee na alikuwa chairedi wa kanisa na dia naambia wa mama tuamini wazee waokoke tuamini vumilia sasa na yeye sasa kaona ai ni kama hii, hii kitu ya kuvumilia iko na issue akafikiri aude nafasi ya ufunuo kunenewa na Mungu alipofunga i think 14 days anakunywa tu maji aliletewa vision ya mume wake akiwa a mighty preacher sauti katoka juu ikasema behold my prophet na sasa hiyo mume wake ni mvutaji wa bangi ni mulevi ni mchafu ajabu 
lakini katika ufunuo alionyeshwa the husband is a mighty prophet according to god na ni kweli kuna siku moja huyu mama alita alilikana mzee akaja akasema akabia watoto can you please call the neighbors akabia mama look at me how talia tena as long as niko hai i want to speak kwa macho yako hata kama unalia you never suffer again na nimeokoka na ile revelation kwa ba mzee was a prophet is happening even today I wish kama ugeunda space ya revelation ukejua you are mighty woman of God ukeonyeshwa hata mimi nionyeshwa nyumba nyumba ngambo na msichana akaitwa tajiri kwa ufunuo na nikaambiwa hiyo ndio nyumba one time utakula lunch mwambie atakaa habari you know that the time she came around na watoto ato wasali we wasalimia babu sasa kwa mimi ni babu nikaona nipatia pound pound guy pound mia moja pound ingine na ingine i said god huyu ni ule nikaambia mungu hakika wewe ni mkubwa hallelujah 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 wakao mkiambia bishop please can you plan a holiday at near to nipereke round na nikure shida yao ni kuniambia niende kama sijafuga usiwe mwezi mmoja tu ukeke rugo kule sana akambia sasa au come those are the bookings for retirement niko na trip kadhaa booked for but not for now now i'm very busy and i must be busy but there's booking for kuna moja birmingham ingine coventry america zimeja 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 nime avoid sana ya naomi karaja she's already bishop you are my dad in their big church i'm coming very soon hallelujah hallelujah i command you now hiyo issue of bow ume conclude na ukasikia uchungu na ukaumia simamisha hiyo kwanza simamisha hiyo kwanza let god speak and i say miracles are coming here kwa maana kuna sehemu umefungua huko na embeleni let me say this because i may not finish this teaching ukiangalia mfalme huyu if you check the king of uh-huh huyu mfalme wa israel these are two kings there's the king of israel and the king of judah the king of israel alikuwa mtu wa kimwili already ameamua tunakufa leo tunakufa tunakufa we lakini jehoshaphat the godly king created a space for revelation so many are men hebu tuangalie lakini verse 11 second kings chapter 3 verse 11 lakini jehoshaphat akasema je hapana nabi hapa wa bwana ili tumuulize bwana kwa creating a space for revelation akajibu mtumishi mmoja wa mfalme akasema yupo hapa Elisha mwana wa Safati aliyekuwa akimimina maji juu ya mkono wa Elia Jehoshaphat akasema neno la Bwana analo huyu mfalme anasema basi mfalme wa Isa na Jehoshaphat na mfalme wa Endom wakamshukia walipoenda Elisha akaona mfalme look at this anointing ya Elisha ikaanza kupingana na mfamo wa Israeli akasema wewe wewe wa Israeli umeja mwili tu mwili tu naona tu kifo isipokuwa ni Jehoshaphat sige sige kuhudhuzwa hapa na sasa Elisha akasema leteni mchezaji wa kinanda nao ukienda verse 14 amen haleluya no verse verse 16 akasema Bwana asema hivi fanyeni bote hili lijae mahandaki 
Make this valley full of ditches. Kwa kuwa bwana asema hivi. Hamta wana upepo. Wala hamta yona mvua. Ira bote hili. Lita jamaji. Nanyi mtakunywa. Nini na ngombe zenu na wanyama wenu. Na jabo hili. Ninye pesi machoni mbabwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know what? Prophet Risema. Bwana. Ata watia. Wa moambu. Mikroni mwenu. May God give you revelation. And you know what happened? Akiongia hivo. Kulitokea kitu pale. Simvua. Kikajibuka kule pale mbele. Maji ikaja kwa all ditches. Hakukua na vua. Hakukua na upepo. But the place flooded. Wanyama kakunywa. Jashi kakunywa. Na wakashida maadui. I say you are winning battles. If you allow God to speak. A revelation. <coughs> allow God to speak. A revelation. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. I want to finish by saying this, friends. We may not finish this now. I wish I had time. There are seven other, other five ways of miracles. To share another day. Hallelujah. Kuna vile. Muna kubuka Moses. Nina litisha. Uwepo wa mungu. Sinikweli. Your presence go with us. Aliyabuaje. Surely. My face. We'll go with you and I'll give you rest. Now, you know what it means? Kuna wakati in your life, you receive God's presence and you just walk with God. Ukitembea na mongu, circumstances that will require miracle will be dealt with by God's presence. That's why bahari ya shabu, because of God's presence, the voice said, so geni, Nyosha fimbo kukawajia. Jagwani! Because God was there. Kusauti nisa maji, nenea muamba, utoe maji. Kuna wakati huna jibu. Lakini uwepo wa buwana, uyo speak. When miracle will be required. One thing ya kuona miracles of God. Ni kitu kinaitua practicing the presence of Jesus throughout. Christo alipokuwa kana ya galidi, he was there. Wali abu aje, whatever that man say, do it. Pigien huu Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Buwana asifiwe. Tuta endelea another day. And I want to tell you friends, by the name of Jesus, you can receive a moment of miracle if you pray and pray until you clear all heaviness. Can I tell something? Ata kama una imani. Don't leave yourself that way. Mwende buwana. Paka ule uwora. Na uzito. Na deception ishe. And that's what the Bible says. And it shall be. On that day. The Lord will remove the burden of your shoulders. And God will destroy the yoke by the anointing. Kuna mafuta, ebu sikizeni, niangalie, ni kule maguta, kuna mafuta, ata wea bahu na imani, kuna mafuta utaweza mwagiwa, imani inuke. Nasema kuna mafuta weza mwagiwa, ujipate, you can perform in a miracle. There is what we call impartation of anointing. Umeomba, 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 uongo meisha, umeomba, kila uongo meisha, umeomba, kila uzito meondoka. And your faith becomes clear and simple. You can clear your heart until you yourself, jia ya miujiza in your life, haitakuwa gumo. Lakini, watu wengi hawajui yu kind of prayer. Kuna maombi mutu uomba, mpaka uzito fulani na uongo wa dunia na mawazo mazito zinaisha unajikuta sasa ukiamuka unasikia now i can speak to the mountains tusimame tushukuru bwana baba katika jina la yesu
tuna imani kwamba kuna uponyaji kwa hii nyumba tuna imani kwamba kuna ufufuo kwa hii nyumba tuna imani kwamba kuna jabo abalo uko nalo katika sauti yako la ukobozi na ushindi katika hii nyumba and now in the name of Jesus Christ i know with all my heart Watu wengine hapa wamefanya uamuzi kulingana na vile hali ilivyo but time has come to become a Jehoshaphat who claimed prophecy and revelation Lord it is possible after this is to a point of contact and receive miracle I want to pray with you now any miracle you want hata kama ni uponyaji hasa wale watu wamekuja hapa wewe ni mgonjwa kama si ugonjwa kuna jabu that you need a real miracle nataka uamini leo unapokea your answer nani huwa nasikia seriously kuna jabu unahitaji a real miracle real si ta kutafutia real ina mkono wako Najua, I thought you could come here but you come to share hapa bele. Let me just release it. Father in Jesus name. Kila mtu aliye kwa mkutano huu ako miguuni mwako Yesu. Na sasa katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Kwa neno lako na kwa damu ya Yesu. I release this miracle. I command miracle katika mwili wa mpendwa. Ninaamuru muujiza wa haki wa ushindi wa Mungu kwa hiyo biashara. Ninaamuru muujiza kwa hiyo marriage. I now declare the word of God kwa watoto. Baba tunainua mikono tukijua kwamba hatutaamini yale tumeona sasa. Tutaamini sauti yako. Jehoshaphat hakuamini kile mwenzake alisema alisema nataka kuamini the revelation of god i know in the might of god things are not the way you see them god has his way na mungu hata inamia mtu he is glorious king powerful everlasting god can you raise your hands now and declare lord i receive my miracle i receive my healing i receive my money i receive my favor i receive i say i receive in the name of the lord jesus christ you know to go to you jesus i worship you jesus i worship you somebody is believing god for a miracle kuna mtu wenu ameingia theater leo jioni na umekuja hii mkutano ukitetemeka god naomba tu atokea sikufia kwa theater i say to you usiogope atatokea na atakuwa hai na atakuwa amebadilika na atapona even beyond what doctors thought wewe ulioingia hapa unakutu mtu wenu ameingia vieta leo jioni na ulikuwa unasema God what will it be I declare to you that person is healed by the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ uko katika mkutano huu uko na sana abaye katika viungo vyake vya uzazi kuna a kind of disfiguration and you are afraid kwamba your son kulingana na report ya doctors ni kama in future hata kupata watoto they are saying the seed vira your son amezaliwa ako na deformity kwamba ni vigumu sana in future aweze ku manufacture bego za uzazi na kuna mzazi hapa hiyo ni kitu unaungua kule ndani hauelewi i speak to you now as i stand here nataka sasa huu mwezi wa oktomba abao umeisha wiki jao november ikianza pereka your son apigwe picha they will confirm she he masheke makata reposota Reke bosanda rima kata bosaya your son is healed and because he's healed i speak to your mother 
you will discover your son will lead a life about is appointed of God. Marriage yake itakuwa so special and the great children you expect from your son will be product of the kingdom. For God has appointed your son for his glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Iman Kono, just believe God for your miracle wherever you are. Wherever kete masika kuna watu wakona attack ya tumbo as an attack in your stomach. Ya jadishu ni kuumwa au ni growth. Touch it and be healed now by the power of Jesus Christ the son of the living God. Nyumba yako ni kama ina madhabahu isho there's a kind of attack in your house. There's no time you enjoy peace. Umekuo naomba na nyumba yako sometimes where you stay there's never peace. Na ikitokea ni masaki chache. Ni kama nyumba yako kire kiko cha kukaa ni aina furani ya dhiki. Aina furani ya irritation. Aina furani ya aibu. Hata ukijaribu kutoka muna furahi tu siku moja. Lakini ile normal life enyo bako alie potea na mbae ato kipika simu hachukui. Here, oh muzazi uri hapa. Utajua maombi yako mejibiwa. Na bana ligo jaya tu ufumiria mpaka kilele cha hii revival. Right now, okeda kwa nyumba. Mutoto wako huyu murana alie potea. Hale bose kenema. Reke posota. Ata kupigia simu. Na atakuwa analia kwa simu akioba msamaha. Utaka posikia hivo. Ujue it is a miracle. Na kwa maana mungu dia meanzisha. Ata ikamilisha. Anza kushukuru buwana wa binguni. Mufaa umeasie shidwa. Wapendo wa miracles. I says God is touching people here. Ina mikono yako. Believe it, believe it, receive it. I say receive it. Kuna mtu katika hii mkutano. Tripo inuwa mikono. Kuna kitu unasikia kwa mikono yako. Hapa uja sikia beleni. Unasikia ni kama moto uko kwa mikono yako. Ni kitu ambao. Unasikia God what is this? What is this? Can you hear this friend? That says the Lord. The Lord ameweka kwa mikono yako utakaso. Na mana nyingi utakuwa kisikia hivo. Na utakuwa kisikia hivo wakati mungu anataka uwekere mtu mikono na uachiria uponyaji. Au ubariki mtu. Ene maseka baka. Kuti masada. Kuna somebody in this place. Somebody. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. Mwaje, mwaje. Mwaje tuwaobe. It's happening. It is happening. It will work in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's something happening in two areas. Nyumbani kwako kuna uzito katika anga ya nyumba yako. Ile estate unakaa. Unasikia kama katika iyo estate juu ya nyumba yako. There are demonic forces above in a car katika iyo anga. Na pia ukieta kazini. There are forces zito zina kufata kazini. Mpaka umeshidwa kufauru. Na iyo kitu imekua ikifata ata watoto wako. I speak to you now. I say sopo shekedeba. There is heaven ash in your family. In the estate about na car. Ime kufuata ata kazini. Na ime fuata watoto wako kwa shure. Na sema mpedwa. Mungu wa haki ya metshuka. Na gombe za giza. Katika anga ya nyumba yako. Kazini zimeondoka. Na hii masheda. Na pike topo saya. Na posanda. Na kazini utainuka sana. Na watoto wako. They will rise up in righteousness. 
an academic excellency. In thy fashion, reposo karaba. In a mikonoju worship the Lord. Worship the Lord God Almighty. Worship the Lord. He mashed because Satani masanda rabosaya. Kunanguwa katay nyumba. Receive your portion. Receive it. I said receive the universe. Receive your peace. Fuko posaka. Poke ni mirango yu fuduka. Kuna mirango sa ina fuduka. Kuna mirango na fuduka. Receive open doors. I said receive open doors. Receive open doors. Receive open doors. Receive open doors. Ha! Shut up, Oka. The Lord is releasing. Mungwa na chilia. Mirango yu fuduka. Receive it now. Father, I give you praise. You are good king. You are awesome. Oh God, take over this church. Prove your name. Prove your name. Prove your name in this altar. Prove your name katika vijana wa ikanisa. Prove your name katika wa mama na wazawa ikanisa. God, kubebeseka. Vitekete your name. Vitekete the anointing, oh God. Asante baba. You know, I'm going to just tell God thank you. Kuna mamba mefanya, megina mutagudua hii wiki. Muna poenda sokoni na kazini. Mungu amenionyesha mirango imefuguka bere ya watu hapa. Kuna open doors. Kuna mirango imefuguka bere ya watu hapa. Ambaye no man can shut. No demon can shut. I say kuna mirango kazini. Kuna mirango, kuna mirango. Ya open doors, open doors. By the Lord God Almighty. Asante bana na kusifu. Na kuabudu mungu wangu. Kwa kusikia maobi na kunena. Uponya na kutakasa na kuhisha. Asante bwana. Asante. Mungu naomba upako huu. Ufuate kila mtu hapa. Kwa ukamilifu wa ajabu. Ata watakapo lala. Wakiamuka ata kesho. Let this fire follow these people. Paka mtu aone uso wa bwana. Na ufunua mungu alihai. Katika jina la kristo mwana mungu alihai.